this spiritual law is going to make a world of difference whether you overcome which is a wizard or they overcome you the bible says where there is no vision the people perish this is one cardinal law which is a wizard and trap their victims and today by the special grace of god as you pay attention a nugget of knowledge will come to you and that will be your moses rod to part the red sea of your life in the name of jesus christ of nazareth many believers play with their dreams witches and wizards they can't lay a hold of you without first attacking you spiritually and most of the times they do this through your dreams if you don't dream then you've made your case worse but not to worry by the end of this very teaching i shall pray for you and your dream life will be restored in the name of jesus christ of nazareth when you sleep and you have an interaction when somebody comes to give you something or they take something from you or you see yourself in the road that you are not familiar with or in an old house or perhaps where you know that you've graduated from like your school your place of work etc etc there is a spirit in man that very spirit in you is what attracts witches to bring you where you are because the real you is not the physical you that inner man once they can give that inner man something it could represent anything they could take money from you and before you know your job is gone they could even give you dirty money and the moment you take it in the dream all types of calamity begins to happen with your finances that's because there is a spiritual transaction there is a woman she had a dream her husband was taken all types of situations she found herself in and she was recalcitrant about this she capitulated zero or no resistance and allowed that dream to try one day the husband woke up and he left this is the person she had shown love to she has done everything Praise God. Because she refused to refute those dreams. The Bible says a carnal man does not understand the things of the spirit because they are spiritually discerned. They are foolishness to him. Have you ever wondered why the whole world, once it is night, people that walk around in the whole street, noise everywhere, you hear silence in the night and people that are walking vertically suddenly everybody gets horizontal lying down at the same time what do you think is responsible for that there is a spirit that controls men and at that spot everybody the whole world they are lying down and their spirits will begin to intermingle with other spirits the Bible says, through desire, a man having separate himself, seeketh and intermingled with all wisdom. Wisdom is a spiritual entity. Likewise, other virtues, they are spiritual in nature. So when men slept, the Bible says, the enemy come to sow tears. When men slept, a little sleep and a little slumber. Poverty shall be over you as a man coming from travel. The calamities of many started 
when they slept, started during their sleep. And sleep could be symbolic. When men die, the Bible referred to believers that die as they slept. When you are recalcitrant, you have you you, you trivialize everything. It could be likened to a sleeping state, not taking responsibility, allowing your life to stray, just like a wildfire burning without no restriction, no desire to curtail the fire. Many believers have left their lives unguided. They don't pray, they don't study the word, they don't fast. They don't even go for counseling. The Bible says in a multitude of counsel, there is safety. They don't believe in none of those. And if you ask them about their lives, it's one challenge or another. Because life by default is in a falling state. Don't ever assume that your life will make sense by default. Never. It will never. Have you ever left a house without anyone? You just finished constructing that house and nobody lives in that house. Come in a few years' time. You will see cracks, webs, the roof. Everything will begin to leak. Because the spirit of man, wherever people are, it makes that thing functional. And when your spirit is not attached to your life, your life begins to fall. But today, that will be the end of it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Witches and wizards don't want you to know this truth. So when they attack, they hope you don't know. Once upon a time, in one of the houses I've stayed, when my last son was given birth to, he was barely a year, and I had a dream of one witch of a notorious wizard my battle against an African warlock. Please do watch that video. You will find it very interesting. Hallelujah. It's going to help. Praise the Lord. I had a dream that she came and she was feeding my son with, with a fish. Fish that has bones in it. With a red oil. And I woke up. Because this, my son was sick, literally. He almost didn't make it. And so we did everything possible until I had that dream. And I knew, oh my goodness, this is a spiritual attack. When I picked him up, I started praying over him, anointed him. Instantly, he breathed. And he got better. And when I came out, the lady, she couldn't look at me. Her eyes were down. They know something many believers don't know. And so because of that ignorance, they have killed so many people. But that will be minus you in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody is wondering, why do I preach about witchcraft? Because I have suffered in their hands. And God has taught me how to fight. And he sent me to come and preach and teach his people. So that they will come out of that ignorance. Remember, we are in the last days. And the Bible says, men will do more wicked. The enemy will do more wickedly. So, the knowledge you don't have, you will pay for it. The Bible says, a wise man foresees the evil that is coming from afar. And he takes cover. Amen? Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to eat their safe. So, the covering is in Christ. Amen? But the foolish one ignores those warnings they see from afar and they are punished for it. But that will be minus you. Amen? So many believers are lazy. They don't take spiritual matters seriously. And yet you see all these people joining in Illuminati, Freemason and all of that. They are worldly people. Do you think they are fools? Because there must be a power source and base where you are confiding in. You think they are fools? You see them joining all types of cults all over the world? Because they know the reality of the spiritual world. There is a whole large world out there. And many believers, they see things literally. No! You see them conduct sacrifices and suddenly they are rich. And if you are not careful, you see them in your dream taking something that belongs to you. Because that is the way the world works.
and we that have God, the Father of all spirit, and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the head of all principalities and powers, and the rulers of the darkness of this world, and we are complete in him because he is in us and we are in him. Hallelujah. And he's able to help us to the uttermost, to save us to the uttermost. And we are still crouching under the vortex of demonic and dark forces of this earth. God forbid. I want you to type God forbid right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. So you're coming out. Take responsibility. The moment you say it's enough, it is enough. The only blessing that Isaac had when Jacob supplanted him was the blessing of restlessness. When he came, he said, Father, bless me. He said, no, I've already blessed your brother and he shall be blessed indeed. I've sustained him with bread and all of those good stuffs. He said, do you have only one blessing left? He said, I have given him the blessing. I have put you under him. I have made you his servant. And the dad said, but only if thou will grow restless, then can you break the bounds of thy brother, of thy neck. Only if you can be restless, can you break any form of witchcraft. And we saw how that when the brother came sending goods, batch after batch, he said, who are you sending this to? I've already have enough. I have enough. Amen. So that goes to say that he grew restless and he had the things of life also, at least during their lifetime. Amen. So that's how many of us, we've got to be restless. Amen. When you dream and you see those things, don't allow it till the morning. Wake up. No matter how sweet that sleep is, wake up and refute it, rebook it, counsel it by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Some of the dreams will involve you even fasting for one day, two days, three days, however the Holy Spirit may lead you. That's how to remain on key. In this kingdom, we progress and go ahead by force, force of faith. Since the days of John the Baptist, the heavens suffered violence or the heavens allow violence and only the violent take it by force. Today, you will take it by the force of faith. If you decide now to change your life, it's up to you. Amen? Like sometimes when people come for counseling, based on the matter they come with, I know by the help of the Spirit that they need to fast. And sometimes I join them in that fast and we pray. Amen? One or two times. And the Lord has been helping so many. Praise the Lord. It's your turn in the name of Jesus Christ. Take responsibility and apply spiritual laws. If you begin to take your life consciously so to dismantle every operation of witchcraft, you will find out that your life will begin to make sense. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for you against every spirit of lukewarmness, every spirit of nonchalancy, every spirit of anything goes. I cause that power in the name of Jesus Christ. Be serious for once. Be serious. Be serious in word study. Be serious in prayer. Be serious in fasting and fellowship. Hallelujah. And you will see how your life will turn around like a dream of the night. Witches and wizards are under your feet. They are under my feet. Hallelujah. So if you block that their access to your dream, they don't have a say. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So like I said, I was going to pray with you. If your dream life has been stifled by demonic entities in order to short cycle your discernment, I pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, behold your children. Every power of the wicked that have stifled their dream life to make sure that they don't receive any elucidation or discernment by your spirit, I decree judgment upon that power. In Jesus' mighty name, I decree your liberty now in the name of Jesus. I rebook that forgiveness. I rebook that slumbering spirit that doesn't want to be disciplined to understand what the Lord is saying. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are free and whosoever the Son of God set free shall be free indeed. Now receive your dream life restored back to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is well with your soul. It is well with you. In Jesus' mighty name. 
if this is your first time of coming to this channel you haven't subscribed yet then please consider doing so and you shall be richly blessed in the name of jesus like and share also and by the way subscription is free amen hallelujah this video is the one i told you about my battle with an african warlock a notorious warlock is going to help you a great deal watch and i believe there's something for you to learn here hallelujah till i come your way again next time shalom